All right, we are back for another one. So today I'm gonna work on the fuel system. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do because I'm fucking broke building this shit. So check this out. Okay, so I'm working on my fuel system next. And you can see, there is my fuel filter. It's a radiant fuel filter with a dash six fitting. So basically I'm gonna have to run a line from there to my fuel rail. But as you see the fuel rail there is OEM and it has a hose here. Where is that hose? It has a hose here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify my fuel rail cause I'm not buying a fuel rail just so I can, um, you know, whatchamacallit, change out the fuel injectors, just so I can have a run the line. So right now I'm on a budget. I'm gonna modify this. I'm gonna cut that off. And here I have a dash six weld on fitting is mild steel. I'm probably gonna weld it like this or something. Or like this, I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then we can run a line from the fuel filter to the fuel rail. It's gonna feed my fuel injectors with fuel and it's gonna come back out here. And you're gonna have a fuel regulator somewhere. And then return line. So I'm gonna get started. Finally finished my fuel system. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. Well, I guess you guys, oh wait, let me show you the back. So there's my fuel lines. They're standing still braided, but then I wrapped them in some um, protective mesh. Cause I know it's gonna be vibrating. I don't want it to like be rubbing away my underbody, but runs up. Got the radium fuel filter, it's gonna be clean fuel. Right, clean fuel right down there. It's gonna run up, feed my fuel, fuel injectors. Squirt, 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 squirt. All the extra shit comes back. Goes to my regulator, down this tube, and then back to the tank. I mean, it's a learning process. Um, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. But on to the next. There you have it, my fuel system. Fucking, that was expensive. It was like six, seven hundred dollars for like fittings, nine fittings, um, the fuel lines, the braided stainless steel, the nylon fuel lines. Yeah, it was like six hundred bucks Canadian. I mean, you, you could cheap out on it, but I wouldn't. You know, risk it because that's feel right. You've seen enough videos of cars catching on fire, so I think it's best to buy parts from a shop that's, uh, you know, they're selling some deeds and stuff. Because the last thing they want is to sell you some and then your vehicle catches on fire. So you got to do it right too, right? But there we go. There you have it. I'm gonna work on the next project on this car. So tune in.